Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we're playing the Hunter in the Arena. We have two wins so far. No losses. Even though the deck is not the greatest, it has been working out so far. So uh, let's keep on going just like that. Right, we have a, an excellent free drop and an excellent one drop, which is typical for this deck because it has decent one and three drops. What it is lacking is two drops. So, well. Still no two drop. Hopefully we can get something. Maybe the web spinner will die and then we'll get a two drop from from that guy. Possibly. Well Wow, okay, she tossed all her cards. That's a good sign. <laughs> well, there's a two drop, but uh Usually not something you want to play on turn two unless you see like a mad scientist or something. Okay. Oh. Huh. Come on, two drop. Oh, not quite, but it could work out pretty well. As long as uh, we don't encounter a Kodo. It's just your power here. Hold on to the silence. I mean, I'm not gonna find Iron Deke versus a mage on turn two, and then she could just fire blast it, and yeah, that's it. I don't think that would be great. Uh, here I'm gonna play the spider tank. Ah, oh, flame cannon. Well, at least that probably means that she can't use her last mana. So it's basically three mana and a card. It was an even trade. She's too bad I couldn't do anything last turn. Huh. Got the core rage here. Well, let's play the hungry. Ah, oh, it's bad. That's actually gonna get a knife out, isn't it? I'm still gonna do it though. Hope she gets something poor. <laughs> Not the best. For us. It, that's actually a pretty favorable outcome for her. The knife even hit. So now she could trade with the Hungry Dragon if she wants to. Fire Blast. What? Is she planning? Awesome. Wow, she has nothing. Hmm. Huh. Well, we don't have anything great either. Like unleash, nah. Houndsmaster, nah. I guess it's gonna be the Call Rage and the Walken Infiltrator. And I think I'm gonna get rid of this uh, Knife Juggler here, it's just too much of a pain. And she might Fire Blast this, but honestly, that's the second Fire Blast, so she's been spending a lot of mana getting rid of that. Of course, it also gave her a free minion that she's been pounding my face with. Well, let's see. Huh. Oh, I see. Oh my. Oh! <laughs> it did... Huh. Well, that was the best mad bomber or mad bomber I have ever seen. It killed everything, and then it just hit my face for good measure without hitting her a single time. Right? I mean, that's what happened. Jesus. What? Oh, mad Obama. You are a jerk. Freezing trap. Uh, I could actually give Mix now. I mean, the main point would be it would give it more health, because the extra attack doesn't really help that much since it already kills everything. Could do Unleash. Could do that and. Oh, I totally forgot about the trap. Uh, I mean, the secret. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Okay, well, it's not Mirror Entity, so I guess it could be Counter Spell. Guess we'll see. No? Could be a duplicate. 
Yeah, yeah this duplicate. Alright. I hope she can't continue having the same luck with her. Luck with her bombers there. Then fire blast. I wonder if she's gonna attack. Yeah. Well. Okay. Hmm. Too bad it doesn't work with a uh, unleash. I'm glad I know this already, otherwise I would be wondering. But yeah, it doesn't. It only works with cash you play from the hand. Unfortunately. <laughs> otherwise it would be a little bit over. But actually that's probably for the best, right? Because it would be such a crazy hunter thing. And paladin thing. Now... Just... What to do, I mean... It's really kind of sad, I think. And then there's the flame strike risk. I don't even know. She has so many cards. We gotta try and rush her down. I think that's the only option here. But how can we... Okay, you know what? Let's do that. Buff that up. Hero power. Go for the face. No, I should have traded there. Then again, this is better against Flame Strike, but if she has Flame Strike, we lose regardless. Yeah, okay, no Flame Strike here. Because, yeah, I should have traded there so I could have kept that one. Ah. Sunwalker. Too many cards, too much life. Multi shot. Can't even use you. Unleash. <laughs> what can I do? Unleash to get rid of the shield? I guess. Okay, maybe somehow it changed overnight so it works differently now. Even though it wouldn't really make much difference because I'm just gonna do that anyway. Then it's just... Like... Uh, then turn. I hope we can get a good multi-shot in next turn. Nine cards. Cold. Not pleasant. All right, I guess we... It's not even that good. <laughs> okay, we just gotta play our cards here. Try and get any damage and we can. At least she's a mage, not a priest or a warrior, so she's not gaining life. So, and then... But yes. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Maybe we can get another whiff spinner and get King Crush out of it. Who knows? Hey, at least we didn't take any damage. Play that. Just play this. To so just buy time. At least we got that hero power every turn. We just didn't get enough damage in early on. Boss tank max. That's nice, but I'm afraid it's too little too late. Do her, does she have lethal? She does have lethal on board, so well played. Just attack with those and fire blast and I would be done for, so no need to continue here. Okay, fair enough. Can't win them all. Let's see if we can win the next one though. I do hope I can get up to yeah, five wins with this deck. I'm, I don't feel like it's a deck that really needs to go really far to be successful, but getting up to five would definitely make me happy. Okay. Versus troll. For do 
what we really need is like a couple of mad scientists or something like that. Actually, that would be exactly what we need because we're low on two drops and uh, yeah, and mad scientists is obviously awesome when you have two good secrets like we do. Let's start out with the walking infiltrator, see if he can draw one of our few two drops. Okay, we got a freezing trap. I could work. And I think I am going to play it on turn 2 if we don't get anything else, because really, that early tempo is something we need with this deck. Can't just w wait for a good time to play it. We have one card that's more than 5 mana, the force tank, and that's it. So we gotta just push. Okay. Uh, that's not really what I want to use a freezing trap on, though. But I guess I will. Because then it'll be 4 mana, and I mean, who want to play a blue guild for 4 mana? So it's basically killing it, but obviously basically doing 1 damage with my freezing trap is not something I'm very excited about, but there's just nothing else we can do. Well, we could have, of course, done hero power, but then our 2-1 would have died, probably. So... Well, that kind of evens out that. Well, I guess we're trading here. Hmm, explosive. Do I even want to play that? Or do I just want a hero power? I think I want a hero power here. Because, yeah, explosive might not even be any benefit at all. So here I would rather just get the extra 2 damage in. We already have a clear board anyway. Well, I'll take that trade. That's fair enough. Let's get a, a Yeti out. So far, so good. Play like... Play like a Sun Mystic. <laughs> Unlikely. Uh, let's see. Do we multi-shot or... How do we do this? Because if we multi-shot, we could... Like, this one will get down to 4 life, so it dies to a Yeti. But instead, I think I prefer just playing the Yeti here. Do this. More threatening board. Like, now we have uh, threatening to do 8 damage. Whereas if we played the other way, we would have only been threatening to do... 4. But... Of course, you would also have done 4 damage last turn if you had gone for the face. Hmm. Well. We could clear the board with multi shot. But then I think I would want to run that into that first, just to make sure that the. The multi shot hits those two. Sadly, we don't really have anything great to play for two mana. So then we would be stuck with a 4 1. I think I'm gonna do it though. Damn. And get two more damage in. Just kinda slowly chip him down. Yeah, if we can get him down to like 10 life, then uh, be in a good spot. Especially if we still have the explosive trap at that point. Well, indeed, what to do. Hmm. Well, this game feels a lot more interesting to me than last one, because last one just felt like we were losing the entire time. This one, I feel like it's really close. Could go either way. It's too early to tell. That's not what I wanted to see, though. Um, right. If only we could do one damage to it first, then we could get this one up to 5-2. By playing the Shattered Sun Cleric. Uh, maybe play the Fen Creeper. And then uh, just hero power. 
Yeah, just keep doing two damage while keeping up on the board. If we can do that, then we're doing great. But of course, I feel like we are slowly falling behind on the board, so we need to catch up somehow. Or at least get rid of taunt so we can actually go for the face. I think the owl would have been really nice this turn if you played the owl here instead of hero power. Owl that go for the face. Or could you even have done like Owl, Shattered Sun, Cleric, and go for the face? Something like that. Uh, I mean, hero power for the face. Well, let's see what he does. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't have any more taunts healing for that matter. Fair enough. That is not good. How are we gonna do this? Uh... I was like, sure, we could play Explosive Trap, but then this one is still alive. And if we played like together with the Emperor, he could attack these two into it, and then... Uh... What if we played this plus Explosive Trap plus Hero Power? Like, keep getting some damage in, right? The explosive will take him down to 18. He doesn't know which trap it is exactly. And honestly, like, because if he attacks that into that, then this Unwalker dies to the explosive. If he attacks these two into it, well, this one is still not dead. Unless he also ta attacks with the Sunwalker. But then again, like, then we basically cleared the board. Right, and he didn't trigger the... Oh, okay. Well, that works. For him. He's not stupid, unfortunately. Well, at least we got him down to 18. Oh, boy. That is scary. On the leash. Hmm. Need to get rid of that taunt sometime. Play this one. Um, like that hero power and just enter in. We also have unleash. So if we could somehow get rid of taunts, and down to 16, we have a kill command in the deck somewhere. Actually, the hounds master could work. Has some extra damage on an unleash too. Okay, we got rid of the taunt. Hopefully he doesn't get another one down. Good, another taunt. I just now I wish we had some more charges, or something, kill commands. Ah, another taunt! That is so not what we need. Interesting, he's going for the face. Okay, so I think we gotta play Unleash here. And then... He'll also play this. And... Do that. And we can run that into that. And go for the face with everything. And then the question is, do we play Hero Power? Or do we play Sun Fairy Protector? I think we do Hero Power. Also because in case he has a um, Lightning Storm, we would really regret playing Sun Fairy Protector here, I think. Whereas the extra damage, I mean, it takes him down to 9. Now, if he doesn't have AoE, right? I mean, we have four minions on the board. He's at nine life. We still have a kill command in there somewhere. Yeah. That's a close one. Because obviously he's going to win the long game if he can survive. Well, actually, no. Because he cannot win a long game because we do have our hero power. But 
he could win a game that's like three or four turns long. If he gets a taunt up. But if he doesn't have a taunt, he doesn't have a robo. Ah, uh, he does. Alright. Like I said, being the Sun Fairy out wouldn't have helped us because we still wouldn't be able to get through this. Well, this changes things, actually. Okay, because we played this. And then... Hero power, of course. Let's see, how can we do? We have... We have just enough to get through the taunts, but then nothing else. Huh. Seven. I just can't get any damage and do it. We play this one, but do we want to take six damage to keep a minion alive? No, not really. But then again. Yeah, we could taunt it up, but yes. Let's just do this. Okay, so he has nine damage. We have two, two. If we draw kill command, we have lethal next turn if he doesn't get a taunt or heal. Mm, but if we don't, that's only one out of 16. He has nine damage. I wonder. Well, he's gonna want to get rid of that protector, so he might have to attack with the seven damage into it. That might give us two turns to try and deal lethal, if you're lucky. And then, of course, we also gotta hope that he doesn't get a taunt totem, even if he doesn't have a taunt in hand. Huh. Well, let's see. What do you got? No taunt totem. Okay, starting out well. Yeah. Bloodlust. Um. Oh, he's one damage off lethal. Wow. Okay, we need kill command. That's... Oh no, is that like a taunt rusty horn? Well, then it's just over. I'm not even sure why he had... Well, I guess he was counting if there was just some way that he could have lethal. <laughs> All right. Well played. Uh... That's it. Alright, well, thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you next time, bye bye!